Welcome back to EA Sports. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Looking forward to this. Two teams looking starved for a win. And we are set to go. Puck is dropped, and this year's edition of the Spangler Cup is underway. Ennis plays it against the boards. From the wow. slot, and it's in the back of the net. Oh, this was quick. Hard to believe the game can change so quickly. An early score, and it is something that nobody quite expected. Canada's home fans are back right on their feet again. Man, they just sat down. Now get back up. Everybody cheer, sit back down, and maybe they can do it again. Puck grab by Brook. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Cupio's got a hold of it along the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. A lot of focus on the penalty killers now. This is an important time with a one-goal lead. Kalpa's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. The power play coach had a quick meeting with the guys before they went out to start this power play. They know the importance down by one. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Two minutes for obstruction holding. Time of the penalty. Two minutes, 50 seconds. Kalpa's looking to break out. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Maintains possession. Cupio's gained possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a short pass to Gregoire. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Battle along the wall. Kalpa's got the puck along the wall. Stays with it. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Kalpa's got the puck against the boards. Canada's got a hold of it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Tries to the crease, and he opts to wait for more support. Takes the feet at the back end. Kalpa's got it in their own zone. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. And the puck's kicked free. Takes that pass back at the point. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Puts it in front. Another feed. Oh, it stays out. What a save on the play. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Team Canada's up. One zip. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And that pass doesn't go. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Kalpa's won the draw. Sissons carries the puck in his own zone. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Cupio's got the puck along the boards. Sends it quickly to Kapanen. Team Canada's got it in the neutral zone. And now he moves it to Emerton. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Moves it to Emerton. And he takes the feed.
here in the late goings of the period. Team Canada's ahead, 1-0. Canada's got it, and they're on the attack. Can't find his man. Paquette Bissol's got it in the defensive end. And now it's over to Emerton. Moves it around along the half wall. Passes out front. Moves it again. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Ray, as we get things underway here in this second period, give us a sense of what you interpreted from that first 20 minutes. Coupio's puck possession was pretty dismal in that first period. They'd have the puck, and then they were like a turnover machine. They're lucky it's close. We're still in the early stages of this period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Back to the point it goes. And he takes the pass. And he takes the dish. Kapanen's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Carlson stick handling in his own zone. Here comes the call. That penalty really puts them back on their heels here. Even though they got the one goal lead, now you've got to defend it short of man. Kalpa's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They deserve this power play. The last couple of shifts, they've been threatening for the tying goal. Finally, they earn a power play. Here's a chance! Gives them nothing in front. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Takes it and looks ahead. Canada's penalty killers get a hold of it. Ahead of steam now towards the front. To his teammate! Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Kapanen's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Sends a pass over. And a little body contact on that play. Team Canada's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Moves with the puck at the corner. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. Well, they'll stay in the lead here with some excellent work by their penalty killer. Well, that's gonna be a penalty. They're gonna have to call that. And that's broken up. Penalty coming up here. That's not great timing, James. I mean, you're trying to get back in the game. Now you've gotta kill this penalty off, too. Here's a first look at the power play. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. Works it across to Gregoire. Couldn't complete the play. Into the offensive end now. Kalpa's got a hold of it along the wall. Pass broken up. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Dayarnay's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here.
Kupio's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And they send it down the ice. Team Canada's gained possession along the boards. Can't get it to go. Takes the return feed. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Past the midway mark of the frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Nice job tying up his opponent. Looking to set up offensively. Canada's got the puck. Nice zone entry from the middle. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Connolly. Team Canada's got a hold of the puck now. Looks to get the puck over to Baudet. Eakins got it against the boards. Here's a feed in front. And nothing materializes on that chance. Back at the point, they set it up. Canada's got the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Connolly. Can't make it work. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Quick pass to Kwai. Oh, serves up waffles for dinner with that stop. Nice feed from the right wing. Canada's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And now it's grabbed by Brook. Team Canada's moving it into the offensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Turns it away. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. We'll answer all of those questions at our skills competition. For tickets to one of the most exciting competitions this season, check our website out. For all right, here we go. A big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Final frame is underway here. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Kupio's working away and not generating much. That's got to change here in the third period, James. They want to get back in the game. They're going to get pucks to the net. Rebounds that are sitting there, they have to get them instead of having the puck cleared away. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Team Canada's got a hold of it along the wall. Quine's got a great ability to hang in the play. Like that last one, James, he looked like after he stumbled, he was out of the play. Yet he gets himself back in position to get a pretty good chance on goal. Great pass off the boards. Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Canada's widened the gap to two here with a quick one in the third really important that you start this period in the way you finish the last. They were aggressive, they got after it, and now they lead by two. Moves the puck along the half wall. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Made the stop on that play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Canada's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Cupio's got it in the defensive zone. Kalpa's got possession of the puck. Here we go, odd man rush here. And there's the save. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Officials are set, players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Kalpa's won the face off. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Hangs onto the puck. 
And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Taken along the wall by Sevier. Nice pass. Too much traffic in the lane. Here's a shot right in the low slot. Team Canada's got the puck now. Look at this attack. It's smothering here. Moves it over to Eakin. Quick feed to Sevier. Along the half wall with the puck. And he hangs on to the puck. Kalpa's got a hold of the puck. Canada's defense has been exceptional. They've defended well, kept the front of the net clean, and whenever there's a rebound, they get it out of there fast. Oh, and that's got the crowd bussing after that stop. cupio has got it now. From point blank, stones him in front. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that's kicked out from the scrum. Wow, what a great shift. Canada's got the puck along the boards. Kalp has got control of it now here in the offensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Moves it quickly over to Winnick. Keeps hold of the puck. Here's a chance! And puts it just wide! The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Up along the wing. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Canada's such a dominant team when their top line plays like this. I mean, how are you going to slow them down? What a great blend of size, speed, and skill they have. A chance to ice it into the empty net. Oh, and they missed the net. cupio has got the puck. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. kalpa has got possession at center. Can't make the connection on the pass. Canada's playing it from the side. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Excellent stick work on the play. And the puck leaves the zone. And this one's over! Boy, confidence between the pipes tonight with that shutout, would you say? It looked easy. Yeah. Even the most difficult shots for him, he handled with such confidence. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.